So this will be a very short reaction to the Xbox Bethesda Games Showcase. So first of all, Redfall. I'm still not into it. Um, I really feel it'll be multiplayer focused. I, I think most of the great content would be in the multiplayer. However, there is a single player campaign. I feel like they're going half into the horror genre and then half into a more like upbeat um joking vibe so i'm not really into that kind of mix so um, and the um the look of the powers isn't very um interesting to me i don't i feel like it doesn't fit the overall um aesthetic of the game next would be hollow knight silk song i'm, I'm just not interested in hollow knight um that, that's all I have to say for it. Um, but, you know, a lot of people have been waiting for this game and, you know, it's coming. Next is High on Life from the creators of Rick and Morty. Um, all the guns that were shown were talking and one of the guns actually have Morty's voice. I'm not a f fan of that, it, but... Then again, I'm not a huge fan of Rick and Morty, so, you know, if you are, then you'd probably enjoy High on Life. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it on that game. Um, also, Riot Games would be available on Xbox Game Pass. So, that's great. I think it's, that's, uh, great. And especially because, um, it was announced that some characters that are DLC, characters that you need to pay for will be free if you are on xbox game pass so i think that's great a plague tale requiem and of innocence i didn't watch the trailer simply because i have a plague tale uh, the first game but i haven't played it yet i'm still going through my backlog of the <laughs> games that i bought I've, i'm playing games based on the year it was released so currently i'm still playing Mirror's Edge and Bioshock, the very first one. So next is Forza Motors, Forza Motorsport. Sorry. So Forza, um, I'm more interested in Forza Horizon Five. However, I'm running a 1060, so there's, you know, I I don't want to melt my GPU, so I haven't played Forza Horizon Five yet. Um. Forza Motorsport is multiplayer focused, I believe, because uh, this is more in the sim racing of like a, a, an F1 race or, you know, an actual racing event where you get to compete with other players. I'm not really uh, sort of, you know, um, a car enthusiast, but it looks amazing. The graphics looks amazing. I think if you're really into cars, this will be a great game for you. Hopefully, um, you know, the multiplayer is good and it, it's not, um, it's not, you know, too pricey into, you know, because, you know, they'd mon they would, uh, monetize the, um, some parts or maybe some skins or maybe some DLC cars. On the topic of Forza, uh, Forza Horizon 5 will release a uh, Hot Wheels DLC. I think that was, that is really cool. I wish I could play Forza Horizon 5, but I can't. Um, I think it's not worth it playing if, if you're running a 1060, you know, um, I think you would need at least, I don't know, maybe a 1660, a GTX 1660, maybe. Anyway, yeah, um, I think that's a great DLC since, um, uh, I believe fans of Forza Horizon the Horizon series, of the Forza Horizon series really knows that Horizon is more of an arcade uh, racer, so that's good. Flight Simulator, I'm not interested in it, um, but I think a lot of people did. It does and still enjoy Flight Simulator and its updates. It's getting an update where you can drive um, one of the ships from Halo, so I think that's really cool. Um, that's a great addition. Overwatch 2. I haven't played Overwatch 1, so I'm excited to try Overwatch 2. However, it's multiplayer, but it is free to play, so yeah, um, I'll try it. Uh, my problem with multiplayer games is that my internet sucks, so I can only play from like 
12 in the morning. That, that, that's it, basically. 12 in the morning after that, or before that, I, I really, I can hardly run any multiplayer game. Next would be Era History Untold. Um, I'm not really sure what the game is about, but it's not really something that I'm interested in. I, th I do think it's gonna be historical. Um, history wasn't, you know, it, it was never my thing, so yeah. Um, in terms of um, historical games, or I, I'm more into pseudo history, like where, where you get to explore it, like with some, um, uh, some Assassin's Creed game where the setting is at a certain time where you get to, you know, uh, where the story is different, you, I don't know, maybe defeat like a dictator or something. Yeah, or, or assassinate, uh, someone important. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I'm more into. Um, Elder Scrolls Online, a DLC has been released for sale for High Isle. I think I think it looks amazing. And but the base game for Elder Scrolls, uh, given that it released in like 2014 or something, it's still overpriced in my opinion. So I, I don't know. I'd wait for like a sale, especially because the DLC is also quite costly because it does enhance the game a lot. The graphics, it's a huge uh, leap from the original 2014 version. Uh, I'm not sure if they did this with other DLC since I'm, you know, I'm new to gaming and I haven't ever played uh, Elder Scrolls. Fallout 76 Expeditions The Pit. I'm not sure with this one uh, because people still say that there's, there are still a lot of problems with Fallout 76, so hopefully it gets fixed before the new expansion is released. Um, I don't, you know, I do, do, I do appreciate what the mods are doing. Uh, people who create mods, I, I, I love, I, I think everyone, you know, no one really has problem with, with them, but when a game, uh, is released as, at such an, you know, a buggy mess. It really sours the mood, even, you know, years later. Yeah. Um, I would rather have it be, you know, like a really short game without bugs, basically, or maybe a bit simpler, but without bugs, and then just expand on that with DLCs or updates. Art 2. I'm really interested in it. Um, I hope, uh, from the reviews of arc of the first arc uh, game, what I've gathered is that it's without mods, it's very grindy. You have to grind, you know, like a ton before you actually start to get into the good parts of the game. So hopefully, with arc two, um, they solve that and they make the grinding more like, uh, let's say, uh, the grind in No Man's Sky. I think the grind, the grind in No Man's Sky is very uh well balanced you have a feeling of you there's a sense of accomplishment in you know getting the necessary ingredients to craft the mater materials so yeah i hope they improve that in arc 2 um the first arc is actually free on steam right now so that's very good scorn i love the aesthetic of scorn i it looks painful everything looks uh you know kind of gross but also interesting in a way, but really, w when I look at the gameplay of Scorn, the first uh, word that comes to my mind is pain. Like, everything is really painful. It sounds painful, it looks painful, it looks like even winning is painful, so I, I, I don't know, I want, I want to try it. I'm not a fan of horror movies, but ever since I started gaming, horror games have been liberating for me. It, it's sort of cathartic, you know, with Horror movies, you're just sitting there. There's nothing you can do for the monster. You, you know, you have to wait for the protagonist. With a horror game, you can beat the living hell out of that uh, scary thing in the dark, sort of. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Scorn a lot. I hope that it's a great game. I hope that the story, you know, really takes off. I think there's a lot to the story here. There's a lot of mystery. I hope it pays off. Flintlock, I have the same feeling feeling with um 
what was this game? I believe it's a Square Enix game. Um, hang on. So yeah, uh, Flintlock, it reminds, I don't know, it gives off the same feeling as Forspoken. However, um, I know it's very different. Uh, I think the gameplay is quite different. But um, bo both games, um, I'm comparing it because I have the same feeling towards those games. They look really cool, but it's not, it doesn't look like something I'll be playing for more than two hours. So, you know, we'll see. But for now, that's how I feel about it. Minecraft Legends, I'm not into the art style of Minecraft, so... You know, I won't really say anything about it, but I know that it's a popular franchise and my friend would really love this game. Lightyear Frontier, um, it looks like a No Man's Sky competitor where, you know, it's not really focused on the battle as well. And it looks like, you know, it, it does look like it does, it does have that uh, toy aesthetic, which you know, I really like that. So we'll see. We'll see with uh, Lightyear Frontier, but I'm very interested in it. Benedict Fox, or sorry, uh, the last case of Benedict Fox is a side scroll, side scrolling game, a bit of a platformer too, I think. Um, it looks very interesting. Um, th this actually. You know, this is actually what I was looking for um, in terms of a side-scrolling game. Um, I think there's a lot of story in it. It looks very interesting. The shadow that, you know, uh, follows the character in the trailer looks really good. Um, yeah, so in terms of side-scrollers, uh, I'm more into this type than into the Silk... Uh, into the Hollow Knight um, type of side scroller. As Dusk Falls, I believe this is in the same genre as Detroit Become Human. So it's not really uh, th the type of game that I like. But again, one of my friends really love Detroit Become Human. So I would recommend this game to her. Naraka, um, there, I've read that Naraka does have a single player uh, aspect to it. A single player mode. But... I really do still think that the multiplayer is what they focused on. Um, I think it's still a bit overpriced, in my opinion, because a, a lot of it, I believe, are a lot of the content in Naraka relies on the DLC, at least in terms of maybe, you know, um, the costumes. So I think the overall base price should be lower. But that's just my opinion. Um, I think Naraka is a great game from what I've seen. And it's just that it's also quite fast paced. So again, multiplayer games, I can only play at certain times and I really don't like that. Grounded, not my type of game, similar to, uh, similar to Minecraft, uh, the art style, not really my thing. So. I wouldn't be trying it. Um, Ereban Shadow Legacy. I, I This is what really caught my attention. I really like it. A stealth game where you assassinate uh, robots and you literally become a shadow that uh, blends into other shadows to escape or to, you know, remain in stealth. I think that's really cool. I like the art style as well. I hope you know, the gameplay is really solid. It does look like it's solid. Um, so yeah, I look forward to Ereban. Um, Pentiment, not my type of game, but you know, I think it's, it's doing something, uh, unique. So might worth check, might be worth checking out. Diablo 4. Diablo ruined their name with, um, Diablo Immortal. Hopefully. Because of, you know, uh, the whole mobile market mechanic thing. Um, but hopefully Diablo 4 isn't like Diablo Immortal in terms of uh, monetization. I'm fine with DLC content. And I really, really like the aesthetic and the art style of Diablo. I really hope 
that this would be, you know, different from Diablo Immortal. It looks really good to me. Uh, that's something I'm looking forward to. So Ravenlock, um, I don't like the art style. So yeah, same with Minecraft. Cocoon, I'm not really interested in it. Um, but I do believe this is an indie game. So, you know, um, watch the trailer, watch some gameplay. And you know, you, that would be up to you. Wolong Fallen Dynasty. So my problem with the art style for this is I think it's more in the designs. I think it's over way overly designed, in my opinion. Like it's you know, there's just too many things um going on. I don't I can't focus on wh where to look at. So we'll see. Um, the trailer, I believe, is purely cinematic. I don't think it's, any of it is gameplay. So, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, Persona series is coming on Xbox. I think that's great. Um, the Persona 5 aesthetic really does, doesn't stick with me. Um, I like the art style, but, uh, the HUD, not so much. So, lastly would be, Starfield. I think Starfield looks a, does look a bit unfinished in terms of the facial animations of the characters, but it looks very interesting. Um, I think it it I think it will really focus on the exploration, and I really want I really want to see where it goes, and hopefully this would be redemption for Bethesda. Um, because I've heard that they do make a great narrative single player, single player RPGs. So yeah, um, hopefully.